So this problem, question 6a, is again a solving problem. We're going to solve this equation. Now, this is another layer on top of this problem is that we are solving for all real numbers. So all real numbers means that we have to use the period of this graph to be able to figure out the repetitions. So that, that's the first thing I'm going to do because it's all real numbers for A. I'm going to say that my period, there's no horizontal or vertical compression. So the period of the repetitions is going to be 2 pi. So then I need to factor this. To the factor this, I'm going to go to my little factor square here. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 2, add to negative 1, it's the middle, negative cos x. So I know that's going to be end up being 2x this way. I know it's going to be 1 this way, so 2x plus 1. And then I'm going to have x, and then the negative is going to come out on this side. <clears throat> so my factored form is going to look like this, 2 cosine x plus 1. The other factor is going to be cosine x minus 1. That's equal to 0. Since it's equal to 0, I can treat those factors independently. So solving for that bracket there, I know that cos x is equal to negative 1 half. Okay, so cos x equaling negative 1 half is going to be in this quadrant over here and in this quadrant over here. Okay, so that 1 half is a short side horizontal, so it's going to look like this. So I know that position here, that theta 1 x is going to be at 2 pi over 3, which is 120 degrees. And then I have another x here, down here, and that's going to be at 4 pi over 3. Okay, so that's our first part. We've solved for the solutions here. Now this next part is a new part, and I'm just going to change the color of this here. This part we have to be careful because now when we once we solve this, we know that it's for all real numbers, and our repetitions of these two solutions are going to happen every two pi. So to show this, I'm going to write this as plus n two pi plus n two pi. So the next solution is going to be you know, add 2 pi, we're going to end up at 8 pi over 3. We're going to add another 8, 2 pi, etc. And in both cases here, the n is an integer. Okay, so n is an integer, so we go up by increments of 2 pi. For the other brackets, we're going to solve this as well. So we're going to solve cosine x equals 1. Cosine equals 1 only at one point here, so x is equal to 0. And this again has repetitions. It's going to repeat itself every period. The period is 2 pi, so we're going to do plus n 2 pi to show the repetitions. So this is similar to the, the previous problem, number 5. But now we have to include, because it's all real numbers, we're going to include the repetitions by showing by adding the n period to their to each of our solutions. 